Bonjour Seacoast. Bienvenue à Swen. What? I'm your host, Killer Leafstar. Hold on. Let's get, get right, right into, into the news. news. This is Maple Woods. Pico eating a burrito. Maplewood is. 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 Maplewood is amazing. A wonderful place to be. It's a kind school where kids go to learn. It's the best place that I've ever been to. It's an awesome place where kids learn and play and have fun. A courteous place with lots of intelligent people. The neatest school that I have ever seen and been to. It's a community of caring. One big happy family. It's an amazing place. It's, it's a wonderful place. I think for every child, Maplewood's a little different. It means a little something different. Each child that comes through here finds a different part of Maplewood to be special to them. Maplewood is awesome! <laughs> Hey guys, there's a couple weeks left until the epitome of our capitalist culture. Christmas! Don't forget Kwanzaa. Sure. Moving on, the SHS Library is doing a giveaway. Follow them on Twitter for a chance to win a Walking Dead gingerbread set. And game night is on the 15th of December. Too bad we're all working on Thursday. Uh, yeah, I was anticipating a Friday. Whatever, we're making money. <laughs> but so are the class of 2019 and STEM Club, who's hosting the Smash Tournament. Wow, I love Smash, how do I get in? Bro, you're in charge of it. Oh yeah. The cost to enter the Smash tournament will be $3. Sounds really exciting, but game night isn't the only thing that's happening December. We also have a close drive happening, and we are more than ready to accept donations. Yeah, help out the community instead of sitting there and watching us. But you should still watch us. And we should move on to the weather. Hey Seacoast, it's Raffi. The weatherman coming at you live from the weather. The anchor segment. Alrighty, on Friday it's gonna be mostly sunny with a high of 47 and a low of 32. Saturday it's gonna be partly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 27. On Sunday it's gonna be sunny with a high of 38 and a low of 24. All right. On Monday it's gonna be uh, rainy and we're also gonna have snow showers with a high of 37 and a low of 27. Oh. <laughs> Not doing that today. And on Tuesday, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 39 and a low of 23. On Wednesday, it's also going to be mostly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 30. And to end it all, we're going to be on Thursday with rain and snow showers yet again with a high of 39 and a low of 30. Make sure to drive safe and dress accordingly. Alrighty, back to you guys. Interesting, Leamstar. It seems to be getting really cold really fast. You better do what he says and dress accordingly. Speaking of best dressed, it's time for the interview of one of our best dressed teachers that we know. Adam Braley. Liam, we've talked about this. I know, it's just so hard. No, it's, it's we're interviewing Carrington. It's Carrington. At least he has a really nice beard. Better he, than Braley's. He puts Braley's beard to shame. Shame. Roll the clip. Hi, what's your name? Mr. Carrington. All right. So, Mr. Carrington, what made you want to teach English? Great question. Uh, really three reasons. Uh, first, uh, I love helping kids. Um, you know, I look around and I, I feel that there are a lot of negative influences in kids' lives that prevent them from reaching their full potential, and uh, I wanted to be a positive one. Mm -hmm. I need you to change. Yep, yep. So, uh, second, I think being able to uh, communicate, to develop an opinion, and uh, relay it in a way that's uh, coherent and uh, meaningful is one of the, the, the best tools I could give somebody. Uh, and third, if I could uh, maybe harness my inner Robin Williams from Dead Poets Society, um, it's about the human condition. It's about looking into uh, man's psyche and churning up what kind of lives there, you know? Um, <laughs> So, so you're gonna let us stand on tables? Uh, absolutely. Nice. Oh, captain, my captain, obviously, right? Yep. 
So, so um, uh, what's with all the chairs behind your desk? Well, I like chairs. I'm a big fan of chairs. I like chairs that swivel. I like chairs that twist and turn, go up and down. Um, I like chairs with nice soft backs. I like chairs that you can bounce in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got a lot of chairs. So how, how's your baby doing? She's fantastic. She just started walking, so she's into everything and cruising around all over the place. Yep, yep. She what? hasn't uh, stuck her finger in a light socket yet, so I mean, I got that going uh, for me. Yeah. Baby proof everything? <laughs> yeah, as, as much as I can, I suppose. All right, and you read her and stuff? I read her? Yep. Yeah, 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 a little bit, obviously. I mean, that's kind of my gig. Some uh, students say you have a very soothing voice that puts uh, them to sleep. Uh, so I'm uh, inferring that your baby uh, falls asleep very easily when you're reading to her. Yeah, at times. She enjoys my, she enjoys my voices. She enjoys uh, the reading time that we have, the daddy dollar time. That's fantastic. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Well, this has been Coffee with Carrington. Bravo! Excellent. Absolutely wonderful. Entree. Entree? En yeah, entree, because I'm starving. For what? More sports-related content. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I can't wait for all the winter sports. Liam, I have an idea. Sweet, let's hear it. Well, I want to entertain people, right, with skits mm -hmm. and maybe musical performances. Yeah. And this show should be live. You dirty plagiarist. What, what did I do? Uh, there's already something like that, you linguini. Th there is? I'm not original? Yeah, you ravioli. Uh, On the 9th and the 10th, we're having su Summer's Worth Night Live. Uh, oh, well, well, time, time to end the show. Wait, um, now? Uh, that, that, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Wait, now? Y yeah, yep, yeah. all the time we have for today, folks. Uh, remember to... Hold up. What? Remember to... Wear pants. D d wow, really? You're really? being a fettuccine. Stop with the pasta. No, you ziti. Ugh. Get well, Mr. Sokol. I love you. Hi, Mr. Sokol. We're sorry to hear what happened to you, and we're thinking about you a lot, and wanted to let you know that um, we hope that you have a speedy recovery, and well, we're thinking and praying about you, and I hope that you still have a great holiday season. We'll see you soon. Bye. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Uh, get well soon, Mr. Sokol. This is uh, Will. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. 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 Get well soon, Sokol. Oh, okay. Mr. Sokol, we hope you're getting better. This is my physics class. Guys, Mr. Sokol. Yeah. Hello. Get well. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Ah, uh, Senor Sokol, mejorate muy pronto, por favor. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Bonjour, Monsieur Sokol. On pense à vous. On espère que tout va bien. Et méfiez-vous et guérissez bientôt. Au revoir. Hi, Vic. Um, hope that you're feeling better. We'd like to see you soon. Take care. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. <laughs> Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. We miss you. Look who's running Hurry the show. Back. <laughs> Get well soon. Merry Christmas. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Get well soon, Mr. Sokol. Hope you feel better.